Hey everyone, believe it or not, we needed a little bit of a break from fairing and sanding, so we decided to go back to glassing. So in this episode, you'll see us finish off the swim platform. Hope you enjoy. So it was about this moment right here where Carl realized that we did not round over the edge or the corners enough on the swim platform. So this is what you see him doing quickly with a sanding block. Unfortunately, I was in the garage uh, wetting out pre-cut fiberglass strips, as you can see here. And uh, yeah, we tried to lay this down, but ultimately we decided it would probably be best if we called it and just start it over. And you'll see why in just a second. Alright guys, so yesterday we were going to fiberglass over the edges of the swim platform here and what happened was the radius on this, I'd hit it with my, with my router and around over a bit and the radius wasn't round enough I guess. Uh, so as we were putting the glass down it was bubbling up off the sides and the only way to really fix that is to make the radius uh, larger you know, um, give it a little bit of transition. So I found a larger round over bit. I'm gonna hit it with the router quick. Uh, I'm gonna clean up all of our mess. All of the shiny stuff you see is resin that was down yesterday. So I'll have to sand all that back, more sanding. And uh, I'll prep everything again. I'll radius the bottom side as well. And then we'll be able to try to glass it again. Hopefully it works this time. Um, we, we found a few times that this has happened and it's honestly just easier to cut your losses, remove everything. It's easier to remove it, waste a little bit of resin and glass than it is to try to sand out those air bubbles or sand down the glass. It's easier just to start from scratch. So that's kind of what we did yesterday. It was kind of frustrating, but live and learn. So what I've done is I've radius these corners so it's a smoother radius, uh, it's actually a large diameter radius. Um, on this I want to say I went to, I want to say it's 5 eighths the bit um, that I have. Um, I may have just had the wrong bit on the last time and I thought it was the right one but uh, again, we've had this issue once before and it was just easier to tear everything off and start from scratch. So we have a nice bull nose on this now. Uh, I hit it with a sa uh, sanding block uh, just by hand quick, just to kind of touch up any edges. Um, you do have to be careful once you have exposed foam because it sands down extremely quickly. Um, but so that's why I hit it with the, uh, the hand sander, the hand sanding block. But everything's cleaned up, ready to go. Um, hopefully that solves our problem. Uh, I do intend to actually fill this 
this chamfer here a little bit better. Um, I'm just kind of going to fill it all the way up to the top on the, the next round, the next go round, and uh, that'll avoid any bubbles on the inside corners as well. Um, because again, we had issues on both ends. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And hopefully, we have some more interesting videos coming up soon. I know there's been a lot of uh fearing but we are starting to make headway on it uh, as you can see we've we fear the bottom of the holes now with total fear and the hole that shows up uh, i did sand it the other day and vacuum everything but so we're getting there slow but sure uh, i definitely have some more rounds to go but you know baby steps at this point as long as we can keep moving forward we'll be good Way smoother than the last time, yes. This this big bull nose radius here on the edge of this really did. Close. I'm trying not to get too close, but <laughs> it really did uh help out here. Uh, we also filled the corners a lot uh, more of a shallow angle, so it really helped out with all the bubbles. Everything went down really nicely, and yeah, anything else to say? much better than last time um, the last thing i'm going to do is i am going to add these gussets in on the side here and that'll help support it still does flex a little bit from on the transom and uh i don't know if you guys noticed but i'm not a you know a little guy so i don't want it to flex and you know cause any damage under my weight so what i'm, what I'm gonna do tonight is i'm just gonna glue them in place kind of leave them uh to set let the uh, epoxy dry and then tomorrow what i'll do is i'll do the fillets and i'll glass it all in uh on both sides all right guys so what i've done here is uh i just sanded everything and wiped it all down with acetone uh, i've marked my lines kind of hard to see now but i've marked my lines where the edge of the panel has to be the edge of the gas it has to be to be flush with this outside edge of the swim platform uh this was bent up a little bit so what i've done is leveled it out i used a couple of ratchet straps just to pull it down uh evenly um level side to side here pull it all that shows and then front to back so that's right on so yeah all right so the next thing i'm going to do here is mix up some total boat two to one resin with a fast hardener we've been using this product for our whole build it's been great so far so no issues uh, be sure to check them out totalboat.com use code our code has actually changed so please check the description for the information below um i just want the, the basically glue just to hold everything in place so it doesn't move when i'm glassing tomorrow So these gussets are all glued in. Um, I do have a couple of little gaps I can fill after they're all dry. Uh, I just put cleats up just to keep them plumb. Um, yeah, so I'll let everything dry tonight. Uh, tomorrow I will fill in any voids and we will start the glass. All right, so I'm just gonna gouge out all this foam here. You should be able to see all this. Uh, I'm just going to use a drill with a round bar tool, and it's 3 8 diameter, which is perfect for our foam, it's 3 8 And I'm just going to gouge the foam out just enough to uh, 
put some rolled up fiberglass in here, add a little bit more stiffness. It probably doesn't need it, but uh, you know we're here, so might as well do it. You know, do it now and be extra strong. And then we'll glass over the top of this, and we'll glass the joints, and then swim platform will be done. Got a side view of this, and I'll show you. And that's all it takes. It's pretty fast and easy. So this is the easiest way we found to do this, and we have had comments about um, whether it uh, reduces the, the structural integrity, and I'm not overly concerned with it for what we're doing. Uh, we are using unidirectional, and by the time this is done, the uni is still straight in the whole scheme of things, but it gives a nice rope-like structure. So it's definitely rounded now and hopefully that's visible. So the sausage is underneath and then we glossed over the top and it looks really good. How you doing, hon? We are prepping to finish the swim platform. We're just glassing. Huh? The gussets. Oh, we're glassing the gussets. We're just doing no. We have to fill in here. If you can see. Yep. Fill it, fill it. Slap a slab of glass on here and here. And on the inside, the same thing. Mm. <laughs> wow. Mm. Sound effects and everything. <laughs> You're way better at that than I I'm am. I'm trying, you know. <laughs> yeah. So right now we're just wiping down with acetone to prep. Yep, we just sanded everything. And then mix up the stuff. And glass. Done. Yeah, this is a quickie. But this will finish up the swim platform. The hull, officially. This will be officially everything on the hull is glassed and we'll be able to finish fairing the back end, uh, everything trans and aft. Um, we can fair and be done. Fair and sand and fair and sand because that's our, that's our life lately. So. Any little bit to get us away from fairing and sanding is uh, a nice little break, but after this, unfortunately, there is nothing, nothing left <laughs> other than fairing and sanding. So it's a good thing and a bad thing, you know. It's uh, you know we did uh, four hours of sanding today, and we made it about I don't know, twelve feet down the tunnel here, so and it's it's starting to get there. There's still a lot of spots we got to fill, but it should start going a lot quicker once we get on that second, third, fourth coat, you know. So hopefully all goes well there, and uh, yeah. And that's it. And that's it. All right, we're gonna put you guys up on time lapse, yeah. and we're gonna just get this glass and get it done, and move on to the next. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, so we have to cut this these glasses to fit all the corners here, which make little relief cuts, and then we overlap the joints after. So uh, I did the side already. <laughs>
another up. Ooh. My side looks better than Carl's side, I'm just saying. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to come back next week to see another step forward. Take two. Take two. <laughs> I was here for take one. <laughs> you have to take take one. Oh, on this. Yeah. Ah. Uh.